Floridian mythologies. Number nine, Diablo's Last Casserole by David Sawyer. Who is death? I mean, is he an older person or younger? Is this just some speculation? What would this so-called shadowy figure of shadowy complexion be like? And do we all meet him? Many people have, and so have many more. But does death have friends? If so, do they act and look the exact same way? When Dad got to know him, and he'd never tell us about this new friend of his because, well, he wasn't always around that much. Not my dad. His new friend, Death. Death and Dad on the porch. Death and my dad on a church pew. Death and Dad. Well, they weren't real close, y'all. And so, about eight or nine months later, they will finish their relationship. So they won't talk on the phone. There will be no emails, no texts. It was also the 90s when they would split, but had there been that kind of technology, neither one would have been enticed to start and end a relationship with a newfangled Blackberry, y'all. So, the bromance finally became a Macbeth soliloquy or some final stanza. But everyone shows up. Sometimes armies or countries of people trampling through hard memories that, frankly, the departed might not have had any recollections of, but it doesn't matter. All those ticket stubs have been discarded, and most of all, the casseroles will cease. But God be praised, because most of the time it's always some badly prepared fish casserole. But in times like these, folks' most craving of sustenance isn't given to a lot of thoughts. So, never be without a frozen pizza, y'all. Anyway, so Dad died. It was his time, a better place. He's not in as much pain now. Yeah, y'all, if people were death sympathies, then yeah, we'd be way more populated globally, y'all, but they'd have friends and probably just as many friends, as many as death himself has friends. He's had. Isn't he evil to take multiple families and multiple homes and multiple minds Twist their necks around like a hoot off a darn bar now. Friends, don't be scared of him. He isn't the maker. Don't be afeard. He'll heal the sick. Not the devil, I mean the Lord, y'all. So believe wholeheartedly in something or not, it's all on you. May the Lord keep and protect you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. The James family had left the funeral and with a eulogy so inspired by a Burger King more than a goddamned Oxford scholar, it might have helped. Inward chuckles, forgive me, Miss Ethel. Might have been what we all needed, a eulogy inspired by perspiration and guilty grimaces of sweaty older people that we didn't even know. I mean, new to a community and never getting to get to know or hope for knowing or building on foundations of relationships 
only to be torn down by whispers of heresies, of more blind hopelessnesses. Some people, and many I included, are so comforted by the shadowy figure, but we also only say that when we haven't met or haven't been involved or we've never been introduced in a relationship kind of way so that some man, angel, Diablo, or dark figure, or whomever, stops in 